like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. How you guys keep getting my phone number? Oh, is this about that blonde girl I told to wait in the trash can a couple levels back? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? She's whose daughter? Are we not doing the trash can thing anymore? I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. God damn it, she's still there. Hey, I'll call you back. Hey, everybody. So, the year of Capcom continues, right? So, last month was Monster Hunter World, right? This month is March, which only means one thing. That is correct. It is Resident Evil 4 month. Resident Evil 4 Remake comes out this month, and I thought, for this month, let's just do a review, right? So that's what this video is, right? This is a review of the Resident Evil 4 Remake. Do me a favor, guys. Leave a like if you guys like Capcom stuff. Subscribe. I appreciate that. I'm trying to hit 500, if not 1,000 subs by my birthday in July. Um, without any further ado, however, let's get to it. This is my review of Resident Evil 4 Remake. Oh, Salo doesn't sound all sexy anymore. He sounds like a normal guy. I'm missing you'd be like, sacrificial lamb. It begins now. <laughs> Alright, so first things first. We're gonna start this review by setting the scene, okay? So in Resident Evil 4, the remake and the original, you play as Leon, right? So Leon is the protagonist of Resident Evil 2. He was a rookie cop, first day on the job. And he pulls up to work and the Raccoon City incident has happened, right? So six years later, Resident Evil 4 takes place. And Leon has been promoted from just being a cop to being like a, uh, he's like a secret service agent, right? So already, Leon in Resident Evil 4, he's kind of a badass, right? He's like an action movie, like secret agent type dude, right? So, back in the day, a lot of people, they kind of didn't like that because there was like a disconnect, right? It wasn't scary because Leon was such a badass, right? But over time, people have come to kind of, kind of, kind of like that, right? It's like an endearing quality of Leon, right? And it helps make Resident Evil 4 the fun experience that it is in the first place, right? So anyway, back to the story at hand, right? So our dashing, handsome hero, Leon is sent to this remote Spanish village to rescue the president's daughter, right? I know, it's a very early 2000s uh, story. But anyway, he gets to this village and he discovers that the villagers there are, they're basically mutating, right? There's something going on with them, right? And throughout the game, you find out that there's they're, they're basically infected with these like parasites, right? They're like ancient primordial parasites, essentially. So. That's the setting of Resident Evil 4. So for me personally, um, Resident Evil 4, I'll, I'll just be honest with you guys, man. Total honesty, I was a scaredy cat back in the day, right? As a kid, I was a scaredy baby. I did not like horror things at all, right? And then one day, when I was in high school, I watched these two dudes, I watched a, a Let's Play, these two dudes playing Resident Evil 4. I don't know who they were, who knows? But they were playing Resident Evil 4, they were having a great time, right? And I was really enjoying their playthrough, right? So I was like, man, dude, I this game looks amazing, I really gotta play this. And that's where my first playthrough of Resident Evil 4 came in, right? And I loved it, right? It's one of my favorite games of all time. And a lot of people have the, uh, the same sentiment as I do, right? Resident Evil 4 is considered by a lot of people to be one of, if not the greatest game of all time, right? And I know some of you guys hear that and you're like, what? There's no way it's the greatest game of all time. Bro, it might be one of the greatest games of all time. 
right? It might be the greatest game of all time, guys. And I, I had friends that, dude, a couple years ago, I will never let them live this down. They were like, dude, Resident Evil 3 is better than, I'm like, dude, what are you talking about, man? Just the amount of things that Resident Evil 4 has done for the industry, guys, people were making games back in the day, right? Um, famously, the developers of Dead Space. They were almost done with their development. Then they saw gameplay of Resident Evil 4, right? They scrapped the game that they were making and they went back to the drawing board, right? That's how influential this game was, right? That it made people change the way they were doing things, right? Uh, third person over the shoulder action games, they weren't a thing like that, right? Resident Evil 4 is what pioneered that, right? And that's why it's really special in that sense, right? So, is Resident Evil 4 Remake, is it as good, if not better, than the original? Who's to say? I don't think so, but it is really good, right? <clears throat> I don't think it's worse than the original Resident Evil 4. That's for sure. What do I mean by that? Let's let's get to it. Let's let's talk about why. So first things first, the combat in Resident Evil 4 Remake, I think is better, right? I think it might be better. Just because the amount of things you can do, there, it's just, it's so varied, right? And like on paper, it's not a lot, right? The big one is the knife, right? They heavily, dude, the knife is like, that's your go-to weapon, right? You can parry with the knife, right? You can smack, not, not only smack, but you can like do like assassination, like stabbing people with it, right? It's weird, right? Like if someone's on the floor and they're about to transform into like a plaga, you can stab them in the neck and they will stop, right? So, I mean, I mean, as you just saw right there. Um, but the big thing is that the knife has durability. So that's the thing. Um, a lot of your money is going to be spent on repairing your knife, unfortunately. Hey. Uh. The next thing I want to talk about is the enemy variety, right? And you're probably like, what? What are you talking about, man? You're just fighting Ganados. It's Resident Evil 4. Yeah, that's true. Right, Ganados and Wolves and shit. You know how it is. But, in a weird way, the variety, it is there. It is there. Like, no two combat situations feel the same, right? Um, one thing is that they introduced a couple new enemies, right? Um, early on in the game, you fight this weird cowhead guy. Oh, fuck. Who the fuck are you? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Right, and he kind of serves as like like a new like mini boss, right? Like how Dr. Salvador, the chainsaw man, how you know he would appear every once in a while. The cowhead dude is like a uh he's like another version of Dr. Salvador in a weird way. Speaking of cowheads, the cows in this game in general, not even the cow man, just the cows, dude, they're menaces. They're menaces to society, man. If you slightly bump them, they will go ballistic, dude. I hate them. Where are you running to? Oh my god! What the hell? What the fuck? Move. Bitch ass cow. What is your deal? Dude, I hate those things, man. And then another thing that slightly annoyed me. We're, we're talking about slight annoyances here, right? Uh, the bear traps. Bro. They go ham with these bear traps in this game, dude. I don't remember the bear traps in, in the original Resident Evil 4 being this big of an issue, but these bear traps have gotten me killed so many times, dude. You wouldn't even you wouldn't even believe it. Look at that sound. No. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Well, we got the chance. Yeah. Oh God, no! Leon! Fuck! <laughs> but anyway, those are small annoyances, right? Uh, combat, amazing. I love it. Uh, graphics, it looks amazing. Do I even need to say that? Like, look at it. It looks good. Uh, the areas in the game. 
they have been reworked quite a bit. Um, some things have been taken out, uh, but it's not to the extent of Resident Evil 3, right? Where like, <clears throat> in Resident Evil 3 Remake, they would remove something and it felt like the game was lacking because of it, right? Resident Evil 4 Remake, they take away some things, but in no way does it feel like the game suffers because those sections have been removed, if you know what I'm talking about, right? Um, I'm trying not to spoil anything, which, you know, LOL, it's a, uh, almost a 20-year-old game, if not 20 years old. Um, but I I'm trying to be careful what with what I say. I know Capcom had a big, uh, <laughs> they had a, whatchamacallit, a embargo, which I don't see why, because this game is really good. Uh, I'm just going to get this out of the way. I think this game is a 10 out of 10. Seriously, this game is a 10 out of 10, right? It's really good. Re the original Resident Evil 4, I think, is a 10 out of 10 as well, right? This game, it modernizes that classic Resident Evil 4, and it does not lose any points in doing so, right? It's, it's that good. Go out and play this game, right? So for the last couple minutes, I just want to talk about a couple things. Um, there are some things, like Leon, he had a couple of dumb, like cheesy one-liners, which felt really odd back in the day. Though, some of those are gone now, right? Uh, one of my favorites is when Leon is talking to Salazar, and Leon is like, no way, bro. Yeah, that's gone, unfortunately. Um, I'll do the merchant. Oh, I love the merchant. Dude, I didn't mention the merchant. He's great, guys. The merchant's great. I saw some people saying that the merchant wasn't that engaging this time around. Oh, dude, he's so good, man. Uh, he gives you, like, bounties to complete, like, jobs, and he, you can trade those jobs in for spinals. Right? Oh, dude, the merchant, man. Uh, the way the merchant and his, you know, the, the, the treasure hunting in this game in general, it feels like a better Resident Evil uh, village, right? I love Resident Evil Village, by the way. Um, this year, for my Year of Capcom video series, at some point, Resident Evil Village is going to be on there. I think I'm going to do it for October, because it's spooky. But Resident Evil Village, they try to do like the treasure hunting aspect that this game has. This game does it way better, man. It's so much better. Like, I, I can't even tell you what makes it better. I can't even put my finger on it. It just, it just is. You know, it just, it's just better. Um, let's see. Some aspects, well, I say aspects, some goofy parts of the original Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 4, excuse me, Resident Evil 7, where did that come from? Um, like the big statue, unfortunately, that section's gone, but the statue is still there in a weird way, right? I'm trying not to spoil this, but you'll see what I mean when you play the game, right? And you will play this game. Go out and buy this game, right? I'm going to say this again. This is a 10 out of 10. Go out and play this game, guys. Um, and yeah, I don't... Guys, go out and play it. I don't have much more to say, honestly. It's just a good-ass game, dude. It's crazy how, in the first half of this year, we got the Dead Space remake, and we got this. And they're both, like, they're both god-tier games. I gave the Dead Space remake a 10 out of 10 as well, right? Just a different vibe of horror. But it really... Man, these games are amazing. Um, anyway, guys, what do you guys think? Are you guys excited? Have you guys played this yet? What do you uh, What do you guys think? Leave a comment because I'm I'm actually curious to know how you guys feel. I know that the reviews for the for this game have been overwhelmingly positive, right? Like, very few people have had some pro have had problems with this game, which you know, to each their own. But you know, um, anyway, guys, thank you guys for bearing with me. I'm incredibly sick today. So I appreciate you guys watching. Um, leave a like, subscribe, even if you guys do like Capcom content. Like I mentioned a couple times, this year is my year of Capcom. So every month, I'll be doing a video dedicated to a Capcom game. Okay? This month was Resident Evil 4. Next month, I think we're going to go with Mega Man. So if you guys are excited about that, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. I'm going to go get some rest. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace. She was like, Bunda Grande. It's not what she said. That's what she said.